Team, Mr. Speaker. Uh, oh, Mr. Speaker, in my letter to my right honourable friend, I noted that it's likely a combination of factors has contributed to potential excess deaths, including high flu prevalence, ongoing uh, COVID-19, uh, and the disruption to um, the treatment and the detection of uh, conditions like heart diseases. But I know that my honourable friend, is, right honourable friend, is very thoughtful about this and follows it closely, and I will endeavour to get her more detail. Mr. Mike. Mr Speaker, well, I'm pleased my question has now resulted in a response for which I'm grateful. However, uh, from that response, I was none the wiser how the government has explained the non-COVID excess deaths we'd seen. So can the Minister give us an insight into the reasons for the non-COVID excess deaths since the pandemic? Well, Mr Speaker, even if we just take one particular disease like um, uh, CVD, uh, we see that there was disruption to both screening and then to referrals and then on to treatment from the COVID pandemic. And this was uh, noted at the time that this would happen and there would be consequences from it. But let me set out in more detail to her all the exact uh, facts and figures on this, because I know she's been following it very closely. 